I've had people come up to me, and one guy out of the airport grabbed my shirt, grabbed my arm and say, are you saved? Do you know Jesus? Here I am with this, yeah, I'm unashamed of who I am, you know, are you saved? And I go, yes, I was saved yesterday, I'm being saved today, and I hope to be saved tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Next question is, you guys believe the Bible? Yeah. I mean, and they're, they're militant. My question <laughs> is, what came first, the Bible or the church? Yeah. Most don't know. The church came first. Did that church have a name? One holy, Catholic, apostolic, orthodox church really hurts. Why can't we just look at the history, the scriptures? For instance, you guys believe the scripture. My question is, who do you think wrote the scripture? Mm -hmm. what, uh, I don't know. What came first, the church or the scripture? Uh, the church. 300 and some years before we had the canon of scripture. Did it have a name? Uh, yes, it did. One Holy Catholic Apostolic Orthodox Church. Ah, and those are the kind of things, or this is another one I get quite often. Oh my goodness. Bible says, call no man father. Yeah. And I go, well, uh, if you read Paul in uh, Corinthians, he said, uh, though you have countless guides, you do not have many fathers, and I became your father. And then he writes to Galatians, you fathers. And so I say, what do you call your father? Jack, Jim, jerk? <laughs> you know, yeah. Perry, let me, let me tell you a thought that I had, may yeah. I? Yeah. And you know, you know me. Yeah. And too I mean, well, too well. <laughs> yeah, and, and, I'm, and I, I mean this with love. I yeah. mean this with love. I was ordained in a, in a large group, a, a denomination. And I think I was a good pastor. You know, oh, I had my faults for sure. And I felt like I pastored. But when I was ordained in the Orthodox Church and they called me father, spiritual father, my whole mindset, I, you know how you feel about your sons? Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about my church. It's not that I didn't love them before. It's not that I didn't care for them before. But when they call me father on the phone, father, will you give me your blessing? Oh, I'm humbled. I'm your father. I'm your spiritual father. If I can in some way uh, reveal America's best kept secret, it's orthodoxy. Oh, there's so much to offer the church in America. Where was my, where did I start from? Church of the Nazarene. Mm -hmm. That's where I met Christ. That's where I learned that we could go on further. And I'm so thankful. That's where the gospel, the, that's where the, uh, the gospel, the scriptures, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. And that started your journey. That started my journey. So, but, but, but why then can't they, why mm -hmm. can't all of us, all of us, why can't we really be unafraid to ask this question? Did Christ find a church? Does it have a continuous history? And can it be found today? And if we're willing to ask that question, maybe we won't all become Orthodox, mm -hmm. but there has to be some Orthodoxy in every denomination that we can, re we can recover.